Well, it was a record amount of rain there on Sunday, but really Ellicott City sits in such a way that really makes it prone to flooding. Our chief meteorologist Topper Shutt is out live in Ellicott City tonight. Top, so you're saying that the town already has two strikes against it just because of where it's situated. Yeah, the key, Adam, really is not so much on Main Street. It's away from Main Street, which is actually below us about 250 feet. If you look in the distance, that's the mill. And the, originally, Ellicott City was built as a mill city. You need water to turn the mills. It worked out pretty well. It turned, it ground up wheat and other uh, grains. But the problem is all the water has to go downhill. Now, what does that mean? Well, imagine this. It's a little paint can here, and we're on a hill as usual. Hard to get away from a hill. So if you dump all this water in here, Think of Ellicott City is down here. There's Main Street. So all the water has to rush down. It's protected by all these gorges and tributaries and rivers that run into it. And then it just runs on down the hill until it goes through Main Street. Ellicott City is situated in almost a perfect flood zone. Why? Because it's in like a culvert. The topography with the mountains and hills around, the water feeds into all these tributaries and goes into the Patapsco. We're about 200 feet above Main Street and all this water just simply runs down the street, makes a left turn at the bottom of this hill is actually Main Street, and then it makes that left turn and goes into the uh, Patapsco River. Flooding is not new. I know they're blaming development, but they had floods in the 1700s, one, two, three, three floods in the 1800s. This one in 1868, very bad, killed 43 people. These are all flash floods, Agnes in 72, 75, and Tropical Storm Lee in 2011 what we call back flooding. That's when the Patapsco gets full and backs up into uh, Ellicott City. But the rest of these are simply flash floods. Why? Because the new cut branch runs into the uh, uh, Patapsco. The Tiber branch runs into the Patapsco and the Hudson runs into the Patapsco in a little tiny watershed about three square miles. DC is about 68 square miles, but that watershed dumped 10 million gallons that ran essentially right through Main Street in Ellicott City. Okay, so anywhere you go up here, you're high and you're running up hills and all of these hills funnel this water into Main Street so it can at least go into the uh, Patapsco River. We'll come back, we'll talk about how the topography is not the only strike against Ellicott City that night. We'll explain what happened on that Sunday night meteorologically.